Hi, I'm Kwana Chasing Horse. I'm 20 years old. I am Han Gwich'in from Eagle Village, Alaska, and Sichangun uh, Ogala Lakota from the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. I am a land protector, water protector, climate warrior, and an advocate for indigenous people all over, and I am a fashion model. I'm very grateful to be in the position I am in to get the representation that indigenous people need where we feel seen and heard in all spaces. I think a lot of the time when it comes to advocacy work, our people naturally fall into that work. We have this lived experience and a connection to the natural world that drives us to want to protect and preserve that. And a big part of our culture is our values and how we carry ourselves in this world. There's so much intention in everything that we do. We recognize that our hair is so sacred in different ways and it's a big part of our culture. Our hair carries our past and our history, your memories, your feelings, your emotions. And when you braid your hair, you tend to your hair, you take care of yourself. That's you connecting your mind, body, and spirit. And three strands of a braid represents that. Those simple acts of self-love, that's when you know your mental health is doing really well. But when you stop taking care of yourself, that's when you know you're not doing well. It's okay to take a moment to step back and start doing those self-care things so you can start feeling better. Connecting your mind, body, and spirit. So next we'll go see uh, Chief Steve Guinness at his office at Fairbanks Native Association and have a nice little visit with him, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. He's always been a great support. Back when I was about 13 and I was in middle school, I remember the school district was meeting on deciding whether or not they wanted to change Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. I was the only one that went up and spoke. And I remember I had a piece of paper that I had written out, but I remember putting it down and speaking from my heart and I felt scared, I was shaking. And I turn around and I see you walking in and I felt so much relief. And I remember you telling them, you know, listen to this young person, they came to be heard and it's so important. And I just remember you really had my back that day. That completely changed everything for me. I realized that my voice can make a difference and now I walk in every space and I'm able to speak my truth because you gave me just enough courage and inspiration to continue to do so. I really appreciate how you're using your voice. That's powerful stuff. You really do speak the truth. You don't get that unless you lived it. Your mom did a wonderful job of raising you on the land. When you're raised on the land, that's how you can relate to the culture of our people. So I'm very, very proud of how far you have gone in such a short period of time. The community, our culture, is the foundation of who I am. And I try my best to make sure that in everything that I do, I bring our teachings, our values with me, our people with me, mm -hmm. so that I stay humble, passionate, and grounded. Mm -hmm. And to have those humble roots and to go back home and reconnect with that. With this project that we're doing, we are matching the royalties and it's all gonna come back to FNA mm -hmm. or the Wellness Center. I know these kids here in Fairbanks, these native kids really need safe mm -hmm. space and I wanna be able to support that. In our language, we say masicho. Mm -hmm. I mean, thank you very much. Masicho, mm -hmm. thank you so much for doing this. Growing up, I always struggled with my self-esteem because there's just not enough representation in media, in movies, behind the camera, in front of the camera. But for me, those role models were you guys. And it wasn't just how you guys just carried yourselves, it was what you do and how much love and passion goes into what you do. And witnessing that is a big part of the foundation of how I walk my path. 
you know, having such strong women around me, my mom, you guys, you know, I genuinely feel like I would not be who I am without women like you in my life. So, oh, well, thank that you. <laughs> it's really humbling and emotional to hear you say those things. It makes me think about, you know, growing up, like my mom, my grandma, like certain women that like, I really looked up to and admired. There was such a vacuum, like we didn't see ourselves represented. And so we really depended on and really leaned on those strong women in our lives in a culture that really looked down on us in many ways and diminished, tried to diminish who we are. So just to see you standing with so much pride and being so outspoken, it's healing and it's really powerful to witness. We are trying to bring wellness to our people and that self-love that we share through the generations that we have has always been there. And the work we do is like this light we've carried. And now through your work, it's like, it's blossoming. And so every time you're in a magazine or something, it's like, why does it hit so hard? Because that's it. All of our work, all of our grandma's work, all the pain our people's been through, we are still intact. That love is still intact. The generational traumas that we all endure, you know, it's all in our DNA. But it's always beautiful to be able to come back home and also remind yourself that strength, that beauty, the resilience. We love who we are. We love our people. We love the earth. We love mm -hmm. our culture and our traditions. And that's what makes us who we are, you know? It's what makes us strong people. One thing that I love about us is that no matter where we're at, no matter how long we haven't seen each other or what we're doing, when we do, it's like we never disconnect. Yeah, yeah. like we pick up all, right we where we yeah. left off. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. And it's like, it's so good to have that nowadays. You know, I feel like even our generation is so easily distracted by social media, mm -hmm. like different things out there. But it's hard to be present and when no, we're together, it's so That's easy really for us hard. to mm -hmm. be present. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to do that with some people. Anytime I think about all of the things that I've loved to do growing up, I always remember like doing them with you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, we love to paint together. Oh, we yeah. love to play music, like ukulele, guitar. Mm -hmm. We played basketball together. Yeah, Everything, every all like, of our, staple in our lives is with like, each other. Like all of us. And it's so cool to see where we're at now. And how just... we've grown so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love watching you guys grow. Uh, Me too. Real. That's like the best thing about having healthy friendships is like being happy for each other. No matter what we choose in our lives, we will always support each other. Mm -hmm. And you both have really been there at those times in those really dark moments that I've had. We were right down the road, so I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're all like, we're really like I'm coming. <laughs> like, bro, I'm crying on the way. <laughs> Do you want any ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> like I sure brought you hot chips. <laughs> hot chips. If I could dream about what the world would look like in the future, I would see a world where young people are being heard, our elders are being heard. There needs to be more representation in every space. The indigenous people, our voices, our values, and our teachings can really benefit today's world and beyond. I really just imagine a future for my grandchildren. I want my grandchildren to be able to breathe clean air, drink clean water, garden, go outside, play outside, practice the things that I grew up with because it is now becoming a privilege to drink clean water and breathe clean air making sure that the future is sustained for future generations. There's just a lot of hope in this, in this dream that I have of just, you know, our future generations not having to worry about fighting for the things that they should just be able to have. That's what I would want the future to look like.